New at 10, a statue that pays tribute to the worst maritime disaster in the history of the U.S. Navy, was unveiled in Benicia today. It depicts Harold Bray, a Bay Area man who is the very last surviving crew member. KTV's Alyssa Harrington was at today's event and tells us more about the statue and what Bray thought of it. Alyssa. Well, Bray and his family members were very excited. People at the event held up these fans, which, as you can see, have pictures of the ship and some staggering numbers of how many people were killed. Now, organizers say that they hope this statue honors those lives lost and also serves as a reminder of the bravery and resilience of the crew members. A bronze statue was unveiled in Benicia Friday to honor 96-year-old Harold Bray, the last living survivor of the USS Indianapolis. Bray was there to accept the honor. He was on board the Indy, as it was called, back on July 30th of 1945, when it was struck by two Japanese torpedoes and sunk. 1,195 men were on board. It's believed at least 300 went down with the ship. The other 900 entered the shark-infested waters. Only 316 survived, including Bray, who was just 17 at the time. Uh, why was I so lucky? I think about it every day, what it could have been. The seven-foot-tall statue included special details, like a watch stopped at the time the ship sank. The statue is wearing Bray's dog tags and purple heart. Near his feet, images of sharks that killed so many fellow sailors as they waited four days to be rescued. The sharks were there, but uh, I was bummed a couple times, but they weren't. They weren't hungry at the time, I guess. We are very lucky to have him in our lives, and he is a hometown hero. And Among the speakers was Bray's daughter-in-law, Debbie, who talked about his courage and his decades of service as a Benicia police officer. He's just very humble, and he says he just can't imagine why people would want to do this. He isn't anything special, but if you know him, you know he's very special. So family members of other USS Indianapolis crew members attended this reunion. Members of the public paid tribute and thanked Bray for his service. Organizers hope this statue will honor the legacy of the crew and remind people about this piece of history from World War II. Now, today's ceremony happened near the Benicia Clock Tower, but the statue will eventually be installed here in the downtown area on First Street. Benicia's mayor also declared July 7th Harold Bray Day. Reporting live in Benicia, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Glad to see that he was honored in such a way. Alyssa, thank you.